When I think of where I come from, where my family comes from, I realize an education can change everything. I grew up in Belleville, New Jersey, right outside Newark. My childhood house was always bursting at the seams with family. My cousins used to live in the basement, my parents and my sister and me lived on the first floor, and my aunt and uncle's families lived on the second floor. It's always been this place full of laughter, with children running up and down the stairs. And there's a kitchen on every floor, so there's always food cooking. When I think about home, it makes me smile. At my public high school, resources were tight. Those of us who dreamt big, college advisors would ask us to dream a little bit smaller, to aim a little bit lower. It was heartbreaking, especially when I knew what was at stake. My mother showed me firsthand what could be accomplished with a good education. My mother grew up in a rural town in the Philippines with 10 brothers and sisters in a house with dirt floors and a thatched roof. She wanted desperately to bring change to her family. So she begged my grandfather to send her to college to become a doctor. He managed to send her to the US to practice pediatrics. And upon graduation, she was able to send every single one of her siblings to college. And, you know, filling in the medications of the patients, and it was like a really good experience. My mother is probably the single most influential person in my life. She's a tiny lady, but she's a force of nature. My father passed away when I was 10 years old. Around the same time, my mom had to go on disability. It was a hard time for my sister, my mom, and me. It was the three of us against the world. In undergrad, I was a history and journalism major, initially planning to go to law school. After graduation, I worked for the Clinton Foundation as a writer. I was writing a lot about health, and it got me thinking that maybe the world of medicine is where I belonged because it made me feel so alive when I was writing about it. So I decided to go back to school, which was so nerve wracking for me because I wasn't sure how I'd be able to pay for any of it. When I was looking at my choices for medical schools, I found that while Cornell was the perfect fit for me. And so that's why it's the only school that I applied to. Luckily for me, they offered me a really great scholarship which afforded me the freedom to choose any field I'm passionate about and not have to base my decision on my burden of student loans. In a couple of months, I'm going to finally be a primary care doctor. And I'm going to work mostly with the underserved, probably in urban communities like the one I grew up in. These scholarships are a game changer. They can really change the landscape of a person's life not only that person's, but everyone around that person. It changes the course of life for an entire family, and scholarship did that for my family. Now, I feel a responsibility to pay it forward. And figure out how we're gonna be able to, you know, raise enough money for the next year for our scholarship program. So my family and I have been working with the Bata'an Foundation to fundraise to give full four-year college scholarships to 12 students living in abject poverty in the Philippines. I'm hoping that these degrees make an impact. What we need in our community, uh, especially in Bataan, is to provide quality education to the youth. For me, it was one college degree, my mom's degree, that altered the course of my entire family history. With my Wild Cornell scholarship, I know it will also improve the lives of my future family, and I'm hoping the lives of my future patients.